Greetings and welcome back to Idle Kingdom Defense. In our last episode, we started by talking about the new feature, the Kingdom Pass, which will give us some free rewards as opposed to premium ones. And it gets advanced by completing daily quests. Now, my viewers have informed me that weekly quests do not count. Now, it's not like I don't trust my viewers. I actually do trust my viewers. But we're just going to verify that right now because I have a weekly quest that I've been holding on to. All right, let's just see where I am here. So I just basically completed level three. So I got some, uh, I think those are the ruin shards. Yeah, those are the ruin shards. So we're coming up on some Marcus over here. But you can see I have at the top here, zero of 120. So let's just do, oh, I have a daily, but we're not going to do the daily. We're going to do the weekly. Boom. I completed all the missions already here, so I didn't get anything for that. All right, let's go back over to here and... It advanced. Okay, I seemingly was misinformed because that was the um, that was the weekly one. Okay, so we're gonna do the daily and a second daily. So that should be like thirty now. Here, let me just grab that. Some extra gems are a good thing. All right, so it should be thirty now. Yeah. All right, so weekly quests actually do count towards that number. So I was misinformed. I'm sure it was a minor clerical error. Not a big deal at all. So weekly quests do count to that. Main quests do not, but that's a good thing because it would be leaving the people who are advanced in the game behind. So, all right, do all of your questing, right? And you can advance and get free stuff or premium stuff if that's what you've decided. All right, in the meantime, I have been improving and I am now stuck at 2450. That is the stage I am stuck at. All right. I did get lucky with something in the meantime. It was actually one of the expeditions. I beat the boss. He's sitting here now waiting for us. And I did a sweep. And as a result, I got five cells of, where is he? Lucas. So I was able to kick him up to level 900. Has it really improved that much? Not to an amazing degree. As a matter of fact, I think we can probably just do a quick test over here. Uh, why don't we go over to the King's Ruins? All right. I did a little bit better this time than previous. I did do a free fix. So here's the thing. In order to fix it again, it's going to cost me 300 rubies. But as you can see, if I beat this one, I'm going to get 400 rubies. So... Sounds like a deal, especially considering I'm also going to get the, um, the currency as well, which is a little hard to get if you don't complete this. All right, so I just did that. So I should come out of this with extra rubies as in addition to everything else. And then we'll check the numbers to see how things look. Now, we do get a pushback from Lucas, which... You know, I mean, it's a little bit of a pushback. I mean, I would prefer a little bit more if he's not going to do a lot of damage. I mean, he hits everybody on the screen. So I don't really know how they calculate it. Do they calculate his damage, how much his attack is doing, or the total amount of damage he's doing to everybody? See, I don't know how they're handling that. It could be that when he attacks, just say he does 100 damage. Okay, you're doing 100 damage. That's what we're going to count. But maybe he's doing 100 damage to everybody. You know what I mean? So I don't know if it's counting it from every single individual that he's hitting, right? Well, we did get some stuff here. And the castle isn't too hurt. So I'll come back here and probably advance a little bit more. All right, let's just take a look at this. And yeah, he's sitting on the bottom there. Behind Raven. To be fair, Raven hasn't been ranking up as quickly as we would like. Um, where is our buddy sitting on the tower oh marcus marcus is up in sixth place right now which isn't too bad see i have been told that even though i can't raise some individuals up to 700 above 700 i should probably consider using them anyway because they do a lot of damage even at 700 that might be worth an experiment you know all right so let's just go to the top here and check out our current s class all right, so we still have four that we haven't gotten. One of them is very close right here. This is Vincent. Vincent is obviously very close. 
Uh, but of course, if we do get him, you know, by getting his cells, we won't be able to rank him up. If we drew him, that'd be great because we'd have one, we'd be close to another rank up. That'd be amazing. Um, now, uh, this guy up here, I'm told I should probably use this guy because even at seven level 700, he does a lot of damage. Of course, he isn't that far away from a rank up. If we got two sets of his cells, that'd give me 24. That means we could get him to 50. I would definitely try him out. I am not above leveling him up to 700, putting good stuff on him, and then substituting him for Lucas just to see if he does do a lot of damage. If he does a lot of damage, that's not a bad thing at all. I mean, I am currently stuck outside. If I took Lucas out, put him in at 700, and then we were able to get through there, well, obviously, he's more of a help there, right? But you never know. We might get those extra 24 cells. And we are fairly close in a couple of others, and uh, there is the possibility of ranking up. We'll have to see how things work out. We might get lucky. You never know. All right, so let's do some ultra summonses until we're out of those hero seals up there. All right, and okay, I got some more uh, Adrian. That's good. Oh, and we got some more Lucas. He wants his job. He wants his job. Okay, and we got some Raven there. Maybe we can rank her up. Oh, that's very good. Okay, that's very good right there. There's a warrior, so that's a rank up right there. We had a bunch of his cells, but we didn't have him. Okay, let's see. Uh, well, some more threes. Nothing more. Three stars. Okay, no. Go away. Yeah, sound is misbehaving again. I might have to do a restart. Uh, let's see. Um, no. Not quite the quality that we got before. Wow, that was a terrible one. Nothing over two star. Okay, I did see that we got somebody there. I think that's Vincent. Okay, you guys go away. You're clogging up the screen. This one, oh, Gabriel, Gabriel. Uh, I don't think that gives us Gabriel, but oh my God, two hits of Mason here. Ooh. Okay, well, we did get some four stars. That's what's important, right? And okay, this is good. If we get another one of Christian, then we can definitely throw him in. But um, Lucas is fighting for his job now. He's fighting for his job. Um, no, go away. Okay, and some Julian. All right, we got some Julian. Oh, we got two shots of Julian. We might be doing some rank ups here. All right, some new ones and some rank ups. Okay, that's good. More Xavier is good. If, oh, wow, we're getting a bunch of um, four stars here, aren't we? This is very good. Okay, and that was some more Marcus and some Evan. Okay, wow, this is, okay, it was great until then. Okay, and we got some, uh, some more Daniel, too. Oh, 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 and some more Vincent. We might have some new friends here in addition to our great summon here. Hold on. Get out of the way, Carlos. I'm trying to see the good stuff. Okay, we do get some three-star stuff here. All right, we uh, we still have some more ultra rolls to do. Go away, Carlos. Nobody wants you. Okay, some Sophia, and we got some Vincent. We're going to be doing some summoning, I think. Okay, we got some three-stars there. Not so bad. All right, moving right along, Randolph. Oh, 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 got some more Anthony over here. This is good. All right, and we have, some, we have three more rolls. Okay, and I did see, okay. Yeah, Logan, you're long since gone. Sorry, dude. Okay, we got some Lucas, and of course we got some Daniel. So there'd be some ranking up taking place here. And another shot of Evan. He did get a left behind. Oh, and we got, we just got an extra hundred cells of her. Wow. Okay, that's amazing. Wow, the luck is really with us here today. Some more Vincent there. Ooh, can I get more golems now? Okay, and some Ryan there. Okay, well, we are using him, but I would appreciate not getting him in that context. Okay, so that's that. I guess we could do a couple of these. I'll do three, because I don't want to burn myself out completely. But you know what? Oh, ooh, we are just... Yeah. Oh, Chris, oh, wow, we have some decisions to make, don't we? Ooh, we have some decisions to make. Um, it's just I want to keep this lucky streak going because, hey, the luck is here today. 
Um, yeah, yeah, really lucky. Oh, isn't that the second time I drew him today? Wow. I guess he's like Thor because he looks like Thor and he does like thunderclap. Wow. Okay, you don't get the wow, Luke. And we got some more cells of him. My goodness, our, our S guys are going to start replacing others very soon. Okay, uh, not you, Miguel. Go away. Okay, and wow, we got some more Julian. All right, this is gonna this is gonna be some tough choices coming in here soon. All right, and I guess we can do one more. It'll keep us over twenty thousand, so that'll be fine. And we just drew. Wow. Oh, and this is the guy who boosts the archers. And he probably does damage himself. Wow, I got some tough decisions to make here. Boy, it's a good thing I spent a little bit more on the uh, uh, the rubies there, huh? Wow, okay, so, I mean, do I have everybody now? All right, let's just take a look and see what's going on here. Okay, there is one fellow that I don't have. Who is this, by the way? Okay, Harold. Harold is being stubborn. Okay, but who is this? Oh, uh, this is Vincent. All right. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the sound. I think I'm going to have to restart it. Okay, so, um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, okay, but I can't, you know what it is? At this point, I am so bathed in opportunities that I have to look, it's, well, first things first. Can I rank her up twice? I mean, it will get, you know, one rank up is going to mean more golems, right? Okay, so we have 10 golems, and they fight for up to 16 seconds, right? So if we do this, we have 12 golems who fight for 17 seconds. We can also boost them again, too because this is going to increase their weapon damage, or the, the stats they get from her weapon here, which, of course, is a uh, three-star uncommon. Everybody has three-star uncommons right now, though. But, yeah, we're definitely going to do that. So, clearly, she has a permanent seat at the table now, right? Because she can go all the way up to 1,400. All right, we're just going to back out for a moment here, because we have some decisions to make here. Okay, so even with the stuff that Lucas got, he didn't manage to get above 900. All right, so, wow, look at this. But he's a warrior. I would have to take somebody away at that point. All right, but I can definitely do the rank-ups. Okay, that one hung for a moment. Right, he's a five-star. Oh, wait a minute. You know, I have, to look at his, uh, I have to look at his skills, but wait a minute. Let's just do this first. Okay, so his first skill got a um, upgrade. Uh, strike hammer down in area to deal damage of 600% of attack. Okay, so he's going to hurt things a lot. Okay, his own dodge. Okay, 60% chance to paralyze enemy with thunderclap. Is that the first one? Okay, but that's an area attack. So he could paralyze anybody in that area. I'm guessing the percentage will go up. Okay, damage penetration and increase the uh, duration of the paralysis. Okay, so in other words, it's a stun, right? Oh, I can graze him up again. Yeah, I have to do that. Which means he absolutely positively has to go in. That means I have to take somebody out. All right, but you know what we need to do? We need to get him up to 900 in order to judge him. All right, we're going to put him in which means we have to take somebody out. It's going to have to be one of the warriors. I mean, I, I think it's got to be Raven. But I mean, I may have to look at the numbers involved here, you know, in terms of like who's the strongest or something like that. But I mean, it may have to be Raven. All right. But in terms of replacements, oh, wow, my goodness. Uh, this fellow over here, we can actually raise him once. And this is the guy who boosts the... Um, the archers. So he'll make the archers better. All right, we have to just do that. It's only uh, 320, right? Right, so he basically increases archers' attack by 80% for six seconds. 
and the cooldown is 16 seconds. All right, and this increases his own accuracy. Oh, and this one increases the crit of the archers at the same time. His own crit, and then this one increases the duration of this one. So this one isn't six seconds, it's eight seconds. And if we can get him up again, it probably will increase it again. Okay, so yeah, we have some tough calls to make here. Uh, but the thing is, the future is the S-classes, if we can get them going. All right, now, this fellow over here, obviously, we're just going to do this. All right, so, wow, yeah, I got some tough calls to make here. I mean, the thing is, Lucas is very easily replaceable now, because I have individuals who could very easily replace him. All right, do I have anybody else? Okay, we have this fellow over here who's another warrior. I might as well spend the 320 here. The thing is, he stops at 900. So I don't know whether or not I put him in or not. I absolutely, positively, where is he here? He is absolutely going in. Because the thing is, Chances are he's going to be far more powerful than somebody his own level who is an A. So I just have to figure out who's coming out. And like I said, that's probably going to be Raven, although I may have to go back and look at numbers or something like that. Um, it's just that she's pretty far behind in terms of the other ones. If you look at the two other warriors, Blake and... Where's the other dude again? Ryan. I mean, they're three-star rare while she's a four star uncommon so she's pretty far behind them yeah i think that's probably what i'm going to have to do all right so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to level this fellow up to um 950 we're going to get him up to 950 and then we're going to do a straight up comparison without weaponry on all right i have a lot of materials but as we go higher it will start draining them I'm also leaning heavily towards putting Vincent in for Lucas. But we'll look at the... But I really like the one with the buffing of the archers, though. Um, we're going to have to see about that. All right. We're going to 950. Yeah, it's really starting to bite into my materials here now, right? All right. Right there. Right there. So without anything on, he's 102,000 in health. Just a bit over 15,000 in terms of uh, the damage, right? All right, where is she? Okay, now, to be fair, she's actually wearing stuff. So... I mean, her, her damage is a little bit better, right? Her damage is a little bit better. Uh, the thing is that she does the 500% um, of damage in the area, and I think... She lowers their defense by 15%, something like that, whereas I do believe that he was stunning or paralyzing. So an enemy who gets hit by this has a 60% chance of being paralyzed and for two seconds and then an extra second here on the end. I think I got to go with him. He's the future. That's kind of what I'm thinking in terms of. So let's just go get him some gear and put it on him. Okay, so like I said, he's going in. All right, why don't we just make that swap right now so we don't forget about it. Uh, formation. Yeah, sorry. I mean, you were in cloth anyway. So, you know, uh, where is our new friend? There he is, right there. All right, I am interested to see how he'll do in the statistics once we start using him. Now let's take a quick look at our um, support because I do have two people I would like to put in. I think Lucas is gone. Who do I take out? Do I take out one of the low-level ones? The one who is basically boosting the attack by 80% or boosting the attack speed? Because the thing is, they benefit everybody. What if I was to take Marcus out? I mean, he was doing some damage there, but he falls into the same category as uh, Raven. In other words, they're a little bit on the behind side. All right, where is... So let's go up here. All right, let's... Yeah, can I actually raise both of them? 
I think I would rather have damage taking place. All right, so here's the thing. I was recommended to go with uh, Christian, even if I could only get him up to 700. Since I can get him up to 900, I think I really have to try him. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to level him up to 950, and then I'm going to take out um, Lucas. I think that's probably the best idea at the moment, because uh, Marcus actually does... He does good damage. We saw him. He was ranked number seven in terms of damage. So, I mean, Lucas wasn't... He was doing a little bit of a pushback. I mean, maybe if he's ranked up a lot, the pushback will be a lot better. But, I mean, someday, right? It's like that. Someday. If we can rank him up a couple of times, you know, someday. If he'd earn us enough to uh, the shards to actually get him up again, that would have been different. But uh, I'm thinking we go with damage. Or actually, I can only go to 900. I can't go to 950, so I'm just going to stop right there. All right, so why don't we... Where is him? Um, yeah, I mean, we'll be, we'll be back to you. I'm sure I'm sure we'll be back. We're just, we're just kind of testing for the situation right now, right? All right, and then we're going to throw stuff on him. Boom, like that. So basically, he fires rockets, and they detonate in an area, and they do damage, and then he can, like, set fire to them and such like that. So I've been told this guy does a lot of damage. So we're going to find out if he does a lot of damage. Now, what are we going to do about the rest of our individuals over here? Um, we can't rank anybody else up. So we're kind of waiting for upgrades. Now, this fellow did increase. This is the one who boosts the archers. He's actually not that far away from ranking up again, too. So, I mean, maybe we just kind of wait on him and see how things work out. I could take Marcus out for him. It really depends. Maybe he boosts the archers into orbit. It's just that I don't have the resources to kick him up to um, level 900. I don't think I could actually do that. So I think we're just going to go with the two that we have for now. And I would like to see if that improvement alone is going to get us past the stage that I was stuck at. Uh, we can do a little bit of a test over here. So why don't we just uh, take this fellow out and see how that works. Oh, I didn't, cha I didn't take Lucas out. Actually, I didn't take anybody out. I could have sworn I did do that, didn't I? No, no, I did on the battlefield. That was right. Okay, so in other words, Lucas actually has nothing right now, so... This may be a not a great fight. We may have to do this one again, depending on the way things go here. Because I just kind of seriously hampered my team. Yeah, yeah, we're going to lose this one. All right, that may have been my fault. Hold on a minute. It really was my fault. All right, you're coming out. Where is he? You're going in. All right, let's see if that helps. It may not, but let's just try it anyway. Maybe it's a little extra damage. Okay, not many of them are making it. Actually, nobody's made it to the castle. Okay, these guys are going to make it to the castle. Remember, we do have more golems now, and they're stronger. Okay, the boss is going down. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just see here. Uh, ooh, yeah. I like that. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. All right, let's just take a quick look at this. Okay, how did Evan get to the top? I didn't put the guy who boosts the archers in. All right. Oh, Vincent is it is in sixth place there. Okay, and of course, um, our new guy on the ground there is in seven. Who's at the bottom? Okay, 13 is like head scratching. Why, why, why is he all the way down there? I mean, does he want to be replaced on the battlefield? I mean, if he's not going to do damage... You know, we may just end up replacing him. Okay, that was a 
Mind you, the thing is that Lucas didn't have his stuff on, but that was a dramatic turnaround. And, you know, Lucas is always on the bottom in terms of damage. And, uh, well, you know, 50 levels under everybody else, there he is in sixth place. All right, let's see about that stage. All right, so we'll just grab all this. We'll grab this. And then let's see how this works out. Because I failed on this stage. But now we have a, a more powerful warrior on the field. Sorry about that, Raven, but that's just the way that is. And, of course, we have Vincent on top blowing stuff up with his little cannon. Not so little cannon, perhaps. Okay, this is a tough one, though, so I don't really know. We're going to have to see about that. And here comes the boss. Okay, somebody beat that boss so you can come back in here and help us out. Okay, it is getting close. There are three guys beating on the castle. Oh, boom, done. Okay, so let's see how this worked out. Okay, of course, we have Xavier at the top. And where is... Okay, yeah, in sixth place is Marcus. And right behind him, of course, is Vincent. And... I don't know what's going on down here. Dude, w w why are you down there? Why, why is it that these guys here are out damaging you? Okay, Roderick may have had a bad day, but this is two in a row for you. I think that's Ryan. I think that's Ryan. Uh, maybe he wants me to put Raven back in. Maybe that's it. Uh, and there's our other warrior at 10 right there. Okay, so um, obviously we did some improvements with our new guys, and I think that Vincent has earned himself a spot there. Now, I do have some other support individuals, like the one who does the boosting on the archers. I would really like to get him in there because, you know, the archers, we're, we're improving them all the time. So if that helps and increases their, uh, their damage, that's a wonderful thing because they're shooting at everybody all the time. So if they're going to be doing a lot more damage, that's a really positive thing. And of course, it even states that he does damage too. So unlike the other boosters... Who don't actually? I shouldn't say that because the other guys do do damage. It's the um, the ones who deploy the golems and the cavalry. Those are the ones who don't do damage. But you know they have people on the ground doing damage for them. Okay, some really really lucky rolling there today. We have some new S's and uh, there's not really a lot left here. We're only missing one individual, just one. And after that, we just want to get some increases over here. You know, I should just do this very quickly. Very, very quickly. Because you never know what might mean something here. Purchase. Because I don't want to forget about this. And I'm doing it here. I won't forget about it. Anyway, I think that that is going to be it for now. So we have improved our team without leveling them. But I do intend to level them. It's just that I spent a lot of my resources in basically maxing out Two new S-Class, who we just basically threw right in there, too. Wow, we're getting terrible luck here. Terrible luck. The thing about it is, of course, the S-Heroes, and we just got a little bit of you there. We'll just take that. Only one cell. Anyway, um, the future is the S-Class anyway, so the sooner we can get them on the battlefield and the sooner we can start maxing them out, the better, right? Because, after all, that is the future. It's kind of painful taking some out, but like I said, if you get better ones, there's nothing you can do about that, right? And that's it. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See you.